Tom Nelson, owner of Nelson Racing Engines. Today what we're going to be watching on video is a Root Series 572 cubic inch big block. Uh, it's a really neat combination. What makes it so neat is that the Roots don't really put out the power that the turbo motors or the centrifugal motors put out, but what they do put out is just insane throttle response, insane sound, and just nastiness. They still make over a thousand horse, uh, you know, 900 horse on pump gas, but uh, just really, uh, and you can hear it from a mile away, and that's what really what makes the roots is bitching. So, uh, you know, I'm going to show you some details of what's going on with the motor. This motor's got something cool where we use a uh, laptop programmable ignition system from Electromotive. It's got uh, a pair of Holly. Uh, carburetors that Bob Verbancic works over and does all sorts of special stuff to uh, a billet blower 1471, um, aluminum heads, some of our special valve covers. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's a great little combination. So this is the blower shop blower that we've had hard anodized, all black. Pretty cool sinister look. It's got uh, some of the carb shop carburetors that we always use. And we went ahead and had had them uh, powder coated black also with some stainless fuel lines. A uh, pair of our sheet metal Nelson valve covers. Those are some of the fender well headers that we made for the car. And as you can see, it's underdriven right now. Got a 5449. Six PSI is what it'll make. Another neat thing that we've done on this motor that's a little unusual that you would see is that we have our own, uh, or we have ATI custom make a specific damper for us. We sent them drawings of this. Uh, trigger wheel that they machine into a billet hub uh, specifically for us. This is a 60 minus two trigger wheel. And it's crank trigger ignition. And instead of running, we use the Electromotive Ignition System XDI2. So it's fully laptop programmable, really bitchin' setup. So we're about to do a pull. It's uh, very, the lowest horsepower rating of the 572 hot rod. This is at six PSI. I guess you could go a little lower, but six PSI is very uh, pump gas friendly. Um, and it's just something that you could just, you know, you could drive it around at this boost level pretty much forever. Uh, and then let you guys see what it makes.
go take a look at what kind of torque it's making.